friends i discussed combination reaction and decomposition reaction in the previous videos in this video i am going to discuss displacement reaction with examples questions for self assessment in the form of mcq including assertion and reason type and also other short answer questions are given in the last part of the video let us do a simple experiment with iron nails and copper sulfate solution you can see here the images of copper powder sulfate powder copper sulfate pentahydrate then copper sulfate solution then iron nail which is gray in color please remember this right now take copper sulfate solution in two test tubes a and b in one test tube b hang one of the iron nails as shown in figure 1 in the next slide keep the other nail aside keep the other test tube a also aside so this is how you do the experiment this is copper sulfate solution iron nail is immersed in it okay then you ob you observe after some time till this copper sulfate solution which is blue in color becomes light green then this iron nail which you saw as a gray in color it turns to brownish in color this is iron nail taken out from copper sulfate solution after some time it turns to brownish color whereas the iron nail which is kept aside retains its gray color it does not get converted into brownish color this is one observation now also compare the colors of the two solutions in test tube a and test tube b the color of the solution in test tube a in which iron nail i mean which is kept aside retains its blue color whereas the color of the solution in test tube b in which the iron nail is immersed turns to light green see this test tube b this has the reaction mixture which consists of both feso4 and cso4 let us see how what are the two inferences from the above observations let us discuss now the first inference is the brown color of the iron nail is due to the deposition of copper from copper sulfate solution on the surface of the iron nail two the copper sulfate solution in test tube b has become light green because of two reasons the first reason is that some amount of copper from copper sulfate solution is deposited on iron surface as the per the inference one the second reason is that fe displaces cu from cuso4 solution and forms ferrous sulfate which is light green in color the chemical equation is you have here fe that is iron nail reacts with cuso4 aqs then forms feso4 aqs and cu copper metal see here fe is displacing copper from its solution fe 
he is taking the place of copper and throwing away copper and copper is displaced and it becomes separate so that is in the form of copper deposit on iron nail and feso4 the solution that is how it has become light green you can see in equation 1 that fe displaces cu from cuso4 aqueous what is the reason why the reason for this is that iron is relatively more reactive than copper iron is relatively more reactive than copper therefore iron displaces copper from copper sulfate solution such a chemical reaction is called displacement reaction let us define displacement reaction is a chemical reaction in which a more reactive metal displaces a relatively less reactive metal from its solution we must therefore know the order of chemical reactivities of different elements that order is given below in table 1 for a few elements see here chemical reactivities of a few elements this is the most reactive magnesium right and gold is the least reactive among these elements given here magnesium then aluminium in the order of reactivities then zinc still less reactive iron still less then tin then lead then hydrogen then copper then silver then gold gold is the least reactive and magnesium is the most reactive among the elements given in this table now you may have a question here what happens when a copper rod is immersed in ferrous sulfate solution no reaction occurs because copper metal is less reactive than iron you may have another question now what happens when zinc rod is immersed in iron to sulfate solution right now in this case as zinc is more reactive than iron zinc displaces iron from feso4 the displacement reaction is given as zn solid plus feso4 aqueous gives rise to znso4 aqueous and fe solid that means zinc has displaced fe from feso4 solution and fe is thrown out now the generalized representation of a displacement reaction is a a represents one element bc represents a solution then a plus bc gives rise to ac plus b that means a has displaced b from the solution of bc and the solution becomes ac and then b is thrown out okay so this is generalized representation of any displacement reaction consider another displacement reaction zn plus h2so4 gives rise to znso4 plus h2 in this reaction zinc displaces h2 from h2so4 aqueous question now let us consider a, a, another reaction is the following displacement reaction possible suppose if you see that copper put copper rod in h2so4 aqueous dilute remember dilute solution then copper sulfate aqueous plus h2 is it possible no this reaction is not possible because copper is less reactive 
than hydrogen. Consider the reaction CO plus AgNO3 aqueous giving rise to CuNO3 plus Ag. This displacement reaction is, is possible because Cu is more reactive than Ag. Therefore, one has to remember the order of chemical reactivities of a few elements at least in order to know whether a particular displacement reaction occurs or not. Now self-assessment quiz. Which one of the following is a displacement reaction? Option A, Zn plus 2HCl giving rise to Zn Cl2 plus H2. Option B, 2Mg plus O2 on heating gives rise to 2MgO. Option C, NaOH plus H2SO4 giving rise to Na2SO4 plus H2O. Option D, CaCO3 upon heating gives rise to CaO plus CO2. Choose the right option. Second question, which one of the following is not a displacement reaction? Zn plus H2S4, ZnS4 plus H2, Mg plus ZnS4, MgS4 plus Zn, 3Fe plus 4H2O on heating gives rise to Fe3O4 plus 4H2. Option D, Pb plus CuCl2 gives rise to PbCl2 plus Cu. Then, third question. When iron nail is immersed in copper sulfate solution, the brown deposit on the iron nail is due to the formation of A, option A, Fe2O3 rust, option B, FeO rust, option C, Fe3O4 rust, option D, Cu. Now, assertion and reasoning type question. Assertion. Mg plus CuSO4 gives rise to MgSO4 plus Cu. Reaction occurs. This reaction occurs. That is assertion. Reason. The relatively more reactive metal displaces the less reactive metal from its solution. This is the reason. Options. Both A and R are wrong. B. A is correct and R is wrong. C. A is wrong and R is correct. D. Both A and R are correct. Now other questions. Define displacement reaction. Give any two examples with the equations. Arrange the following metals in the order of chemical reactivity, in the increasing order of chemical reactivity. Copper, zinc, iron, magnesium, aluminium, hydrogen and silver. Question 3. What happens when lead is immersed in copper 2 chloride aqueous solution? Write the corresponding chemical equation. Question 4. What happens when iron nail is immersed in copper sulfate solution? Explain the observations and the inferences. Write the corresponding chemical equation. Please answer these questions also in your notebook. Now conclusion. You can try to do the experiment on immersion of iron nails in copper sulfate solution and have observations and inferences by yourself. It is not expensive. It is not hazardous also. Your school should be able to provide such low-cost materials. Learning through experiment provides you first-hand learning experience. It nurtures the skill of observation and also process skills. Learning by doing is the most effective way of learning. I wish you the best in all your efforts.